Hey guys, it's Picture Man 1001. So, um, since Spy Kids Armageddon just came out on Netflix this past weekend, this weekend, I thought I'd show you my Spy Kids DVD and Blu ray collection. So, we're going to start with the original DVD release of the first movie. The movie itself was released in March of 2001. And then this DVD came out in September of 2001. And these are Canadian copies because I'm Canadian, so. The only bonus features on here were teaser and theatrical trailers. And it's got, of course, trailers for other things, too. But yeah, this is the, um... They would always use the, the same U.S. discs in Canada for Dimension Miramax titles. And, um, this one was, um... Though the first one, they used the actual disc from the U.S., whereas the other ones, the, the second and third, they used the, um... The, um, what am I trying to say? They use the, um, the same Disc Masters, but they had a different label. And I think they reprinted Spy Kids, the first one, around 2004 with a new, with a new label, so. Like that, with the Hesse Alliance Atlantis logo on it. I used to have a copy like that, but I got rid of it when I found this original copy, so. The, um... I initially had um, Spy Kids on the um, this three pack actually that just had the three movies, bare bones and full screen. Actually, the first two were on side A and the third one was on side B and had like a border around it. And I was sick of that, so I got this. I got the regular DVDs. So and there's the chapter insert. English on this side, French on this side. And this was bought at a Walmart. Let's see which Walmart. This was at Halifax, Nova Scotia. This is uh, right there. This was purchased on September 6, 2002. And the per same person also bought Spy Hard on DVD. So they must like spy movies. So, yeah, or like... I, I never I never really heard of Spy Hard. I don't know what that is. So if anyone knows what that movie is, let me know. So, But, yeah. Same person bought them both on the same day. And they put the receipt in here in case they needed to return it. But they didn't. So, yeah. Then later they got rid of it. And now it's in my possession. Now, here's something else I have in my collection as well that I had back in the day. I got this all the way back in 2012 as well. Like, I really started to collect Spy Kids in 2012, so. But this was um, a Kellogg's exclusive copy. It's just the movie in full screen, but it's an interesting thing. They used to have these full-length movies they'd given cereal boxes. Sort of like the Columbia TriStar General Mills promotion. This is only Canada from Kellogg's um, products. Alliance Atlantis. Um, did this? They had one. I think I have one for the mask as well that I got in a bunch, a lot of movies, and I think they had a few other ones too. I know Babar the movie was one of the ones they had in there as well. So I can't exactly remember every title. If everyone remembers the whole list of these titles, I'd love to know that. But it's a lot of family-oriented movies from Alliance Atlantis at the time, and Spy Kids was one of them. It's a perfect um, idea for one. So yeah. Now Spy Kids actually did get a re-release in the theaters because. Robert Rodriguez, there was one scene he wanted to film where they were in the Shark Kingdom or something like that. I, th I think that's what it was. I can't remember. Because I saw the scene, but yeah. There was like a bunch of sharks and stuff. He couldn't um, he couldn't finish the scene um, due to budget, budget constraints. But when the movie made enough money, he went back and finished the scene. And he added it into a special edition, which was released in theaters around September 2001, around the time the DVD came out. And he planned for that version to be released on DVD. He probably was saving all the special features for that release. But... It never came out until in 2011 when the series was released on Blu-ray. Well, we had bare bones Blu-rays of the trilogy in Canada since like 2009. Lance and Lance have just released them themselves, but we had the true Blu-rays in 2011. And this is a not alliance or not Alliance Atlantis, it'd be just Alliance by this point because Alliance Atlantis was dissolved and then immediately reincorporated. So, but this one, this is the Spy Kids. It's a Blu-ray DVD combo pack. On um, right here, this is the this is the same takes the same Blu-ray master as the one from the United States from Lionsgate. But I don't have the other Spike It's two and three on Blu-ray, but I do have Spike It's one because this one has the extended movie. Yeah, because this one the movie on here is the Blu-ray is the um an hour and thirty one minutes, whereas the DVD just has the it's the same old the DVD is the same old this same old copy here. So see special features here we got growing up Spike Kids. 10-minute film school, learning how to do visual effects for Spy Kids. 10-minute cooking school, grilled cheese sandwich, Texas style, and healthy fruit smoothies. Stunts Spy Kids style. Bringing thumb thumbs and foolies to life, the makeup effects of Spy Kids. 
and teaser trailer and theatrical trailer, so yeah, it's kind of cool. And, um, I don't, I don't think I had to pay, for, pay that much for this either, actually, so. so then, there's the digital copy, the iTunes digital copy, so. Expires September 29th, 2023. Though I don't think it, I think because Alliance Films actually later dissolved, I don't think the digital copy works anymore, so. I'm not going to be using that either way, so. Anyway, yeah. But I'm covering it just in case, so. But I don't think I'm going to be. It's September 24th, 2023, right now, that I'm filming this on, so it's only got five days, but whatever. But I feel like it probably expired long ago, so. And I'm not going to be using that, so anyways. Um, but we have um, Spy Kids. Um, the Blu-ray right there, and then the DVD. This is the DVD label I was talking about. See how this one has the Alliance Atlantis logo on there? And this is the copy from... The older DVD that was also the standard in the United States, so. Still definitely cool. I'm going to put it actually the Immortals ad right there. Just because I prefer to do that usually. And this Blu-ray release I should mention was from August 2011. Around the time that the Spy Kids 4 was coming out in theaters. And then here we have Spy Kids 2 The Island of Lost Dreams. This movie was released in theaters in August 2002 and it was released on DVD and VHS in September, or sorry, in February 2003. I have VHS as the first three as well, by the way. I'm not going to show those though because they're all the way downstairs. So, And I don't usually show VHSs in these collection videos here. But this one has a lot of special features. They're all Dolby Digital, widescreen, or. Um, so basically, but this one we have Robert Rodriguez, 10 Minute Film School, Big Movies Made Cheap, A New Kind of st Stunt Kid. Feature commentary with Robert Rodriguez, Lost Scenes with Optional Director's Commentary, Isle of Dreams Music Video, School at Big Bend National Park, Essential Gear, The Gadgets of Spy Kids, Behind the Scenes Montages, Total Access 24-7, A Day in the Life of Spy Kids, Still Gallery, Art Gallery, Teaser Trailer, Transmooker Trouble, Set-Top Game, and DVD-ROM Leveling Save Website Access, Spy Kids Mega Mission Zone Preview, I have that game on, on PC, and Transmooker Trouble DVD-ROM Game. The Spy Kids uh, Mega Mission Zone, I haven't actually tried it yet, but I've tried the Spy Kids 3D game on PC. It's so hard to play because the graphics are so, like, because you're wearing the 3D gra glasses. It's so dark, you can't even see what you're doing, so I thought it was kind of stupid. Now, this copy, actually, I got I got this at a, at a Sears of all places. Uh, we had a local Sears, and they used to have these bargain DVDs. It's the original case out here. Like, the original thing. The inside is a reprint, though, like, it's dated 2010, the cover on the inside, which is interesting. But it's exactly the same, so I don't care. But the inside, of course, the disc was all was always the same in these reprints. And um, this one right here is the... But it comes with the insert inside that I've seen copies, like later 2010 copies, don't usually come with this. So, very interesting. I don't know how that happened. It must have been like a very interesting reprint, but that's what I have. And it actually, inside the pack, it came in like an eco case, but I put it in, I put it in a good case because I don't really like eco-friendly cases that much. When I watched, I, wa I was, Blue Collection is the, uh, Blue Collection, now Blue Toys, that channel isn't even, at, it's pretty much dormant now, but that channel, um, is what got me into making videos on YouTube, like this, and, yeah, the Blue Collection guy, he got me into, to really hate, he got me to really hate eco-friendly cases, because not only are they flimsy, they also can damage the discs, that's why I don't like them. And then I'm probably in the minority, but I like Spy Kids 3D Game Over the best of the series. It's just one of those movies that's sort of like a, it's a how is this a movie kind of movie, sort of, you know what I mean? Like, you got all the celebrities in it, like Sle little Selena Gomez, the president is George Clooney, Sylvester Stallone is the bad guy, it's like, it's just, and like, it's quirky, like it's, well the whole series is quirky, I think I like quirky movies, so the, um, but it's just a really interesting movie, like the way, the way it's structured is just something like... It's very wild, and I kind of love it for that, so. I used to have the, um, just the 2D version on DVD. But then I got, I found the 3D copy, and because I like to watch it in 3D, so, yeah. But this was the, um, yeah, it's like it's 3D, game over. Not as many special features on here, but we got 10-Minute Film School with How to Make Cool Home Movies, Alexa Vega in Concert, Feature Commentary with Robert Rodriguez, Adventure into the Third Dimension, The Making of Spike is 3D, game over, Making Tracks with Alexa Vega, Surfing and Stunts Piece Multi-Angle, the effects of the game, Big Dink, Little Dink, Mega Race at Top Game, 2D and 3D versions. And then there's the two, there's also the two versions of the movie, 3D and 2D. And then there's, um, but also what's interesting is that, um, also I should mention that this one was released in theaters in July 2003, and it was released on DVD and VHS, VHS not in 3D of course, on 
uh, in February 2004. So. so there's the case. Yes, they had they had basically one Spy Kids movie a year, which was kind of interesting. That was the four pairs of glasses. They don't have the straps in the back like the ones in the movie theater did. I wouldn't have seen it in the movie theater back then though, because I was only a toddler when these came out. Like I was I was in it like I, when the Spy Kids one came out, I wasn't even born. And I was like an infant in this, for the second one. I was a toddler for this one, so. So that's just one with 3D and just two in 2D, so. And then we have the chapter insert right here, too. Again, English in one side, French in the other. But definitely Spy Kids 3D was one of my favorite childhood movies ever. And then we have Spy Kids All the Time in the World. This is the um, Blu-ray DVD digital copy compact. Includes a bonus 3D version. Um, this was released in the... Again, this is a Canadian copy. Um, yeah, Anchor Bay Entertainment also was credited on this copy on the on the other one here the, on the inside. But it's in very small print. I, for, I don't even know where that is. Or at least the DVD copy credited them. I'm not sure exactly. But this the, like the, logo, the way the, this disc opens up, it has the Alliance logo, then the Anchor Bay Entertainment logo, then the Dimension Home Entertainment logo, then the Weinstein, Weinstein Company Home Entertainment logo. So, it's interesting. But anyways, this is the... Um, the movie right here. This is the one with this is the one with the sequel that has like Jessica Alba, Joel McHale, Jeremy Piven, Ricky Gervais. I'm surprised Ricky Gervais isn't isn't building the cover actually. And then, yeah, Alexa Alexa Vega or Alexa Pina Vega and um, Daryl Sabera. Daryl Sabera. They're the kids, or they're the original kids that come back for this one. And then the um, new kids are Rowan Blanchard, who later 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 went on to be in Girl Meets World, and uh, Mason Cook who went on to be in a really underrated, a criminally underrated show that was on ABC called Speechless. Have you ever seen that? That show is criminally underrated. It's awesome. Definitely really enjoyed that. So, The special features on here, we have... Um, let's show the specifications there for the Blu-ray and the DVD. You get deleted scenes, Robert Rodriguez interview with Kid Reporter, featurettes, Spy Kids Passing the Torch, Rowan and Mason's Video Diary, though it says Rowan and Manson's Video Diary, How to Make a Robotic Dog, and much more. So not even all the special features are listed on there, so... And this is the digital copy again. We got an ad for the Hunger Games this time. May the odds be ever in your favor. I remember when I was in grade five, all the um all the girls were reading Hunger Games, and some of the guys were too, but mostly it was the girls who were all gushing about it. And that's right when the movie came out, and it was a huge part of the culture in our because our class I felt that year was very much like a whole the way the teacher did it was very much like a, we were a whole family. And I still keep in contact with many of my classmates from that year, so. But definitely, it was a, um, The Hunger Games was a huge craze. I never got into it, though. I actually tried to read it once to, just to impress a girl, to, to try to impress a girl that I liked who, um, was a Hungry Games fan, and I just couldn't get into it, so I just stopped, so. But, whatever, anyways, here's the Blu-ray 3D, and then there's the Blu-ray, the standard, and then the DVD. And this one does not come with the smell of vision cards, even though it totally should have. That would have been an interesting... Because the whole mo po the whole marketing gi gimmick with this movie in the theater... The theatrical release, I forgot to mention, was August 2011. And the DVD and Blu-ray release was on... Um, it was in... I think it was October or November 2011. I can't remember exactly. But it was, yeah, the... Um... Yeah, but anyways... That was the, the whole scratch and sniff thing was the gimmick. The 4D. That's why they called it 4D. And, uh, because I know Rugrats Go Wild, I have the DVD of that. I lost the Scratch and Sniff card in the DVD years ago, but I found a VHS that had the Scratch and Sniff card in it, though the, um, the potency of the smells is now gone, because it's over 20, that's over 20 years old, so. But, that's not it. Because Robert Rodriguez has actually made other family films, too, that are, that are often grouped together with Spy Kids. Now, he, he did make, they did make Spy Kids Mission Critical for Netflix, which is a series, and also Spy Kids Armageddon. There's a new movie that just came out this weekend, so... Yeah. But Robert Rodriguez has made other films, too. For kids. The first one of those being The Adventures of Shark Boy and Lava Girl in 3D. For the director of Spy Kids. This is a Can our Canadian copies. This slipcover is yellow. So it's interesting. Usually think of this one having a very black cover, so... Special features on here, we have Creating Shark Boy and Lava Girl with Racer Max. And, um, feature commentary with director Rob Rodriguez. 
Now, my copy, unfortunately, didn't come with the 3D glasses, but I just used the ones from Spike as 3D, and they work just as well, so... Still, it would have been nice to have those. Then here we have the chapter insert here. I forgot to mention, this was theatrically released in June 2005. In fact, it was released on um, June 10th, 2005, the day that um, Jeannie Napolantonio, she's a, like a dancer, actor... Uh, I don't think she's an actor, she's like a dancer, musician model, whatever, oh yeah, she, um, and she's a celebrity crush of mine, or whatever, she was born on that same day, so, she was born the day the Shark Boy and Lava Girl came out, so, but, then this DVD came out in October 2005, so, this is the Adventures of Shark Boy and Lava Girl 3D, and this is more thrilling adventures on DVD, non-stop fun for everyone, I'm talking about the Spy Kids movies. Now, if you, you're in the US, both, your copy probably is just a single disc with both versions on one disc. Well, in this, in Canada, it was actually two different copies. The original, the there's the first disc is in 2D, and the second disc is in 3D. So, there's yeah, it's two different discs. So, that's interesting. Yeah, so there we go. There's that, and um, let me just put put it in the um case here. And then the other film. That he did. Oh, I forgot to also mention that they made a, a sort of standalone sequel on Netflix in 2020 called We Can Be Heroes. It's not exactly a sequel, but Sharkboy and Lava Girl are in it. I, I didn't see the movie, but I've, I've heard I've heard things about it. So and I've seen like trailers. Um, Taylor Dooley came back as Shark as Lava as Lava Girl. I almost called her Shark Girl, Lava Girl, and but Taylor Lautner didn't come back as Shark Boy. So because he later, because about three years after Sharkboy and Lava Girl, he did Twilight. But I'm not sure if he was in the first one because I never like I never got into Twilight. That's the thing. I tried. I watched one move. One of the movies. I think it was New Moon, with my cousin who was very into it at the time, and I just didn't care for. It. Again, I just didn't care for it. So even though I, even if I, even then I was I was even if I was just a kid, I still didn't care for it. I still not, I have no interest in watching the Twilight Saga. So whatever. But anyways, this is Shorts, The Adventures of Wish, the Wishing Rock, or just Shorts is what it's really called. Like. This is the DVD version. I had this as my childhood copy. This is uh, the widescreen and full screen are on the same disc because the, this is around the time the full screen DVDs were really dying out. Like in fact, the two disc special edition DVDs were kind of dying out too. That if they did them as an exclusive, it would be like they sometimes they would have the two disc have a digital copy, but this one didn't have a two disc. But it's still this is when we were really about to get into the era where Blu-ray was the dominant home video release. That they would keep bonus features away from the blue like the DVDs. Some people buy the Blu-rays. But this one's the original DVD, like I said. And this one wasn't actually made with Dimension Films, like the like his other kids kids' movies of the of the of the time. Like now Netflix makes all of them pretty much, but uh, but basically the and Sharkboy and Lava Girl was actually co produced by Dimension Films and Columbia Pictures. Dimension distributing it in North America, Columbia overseas. But um which is a reverse way that Once Upon a Time in Mexico, one of the, one, the third in the Mexico trilogy, which is not a kid's movie or whatever. That one was Columbia in North America, Dimension Overseas. So that's interesting. But this one is um, uh, Shorts. This one was a Warner Brothers. This one was released by Warner Brothers. So. Like, Robert Rodriguez, I think, himself owns the IP. But, um... Or, like, the... Some, like, I know that they don't own the IP itself, because I had the DS game of Shorts as well, which is actually a pretty fun game. And Warner Brothers is not credited anywhere on the game, so it's obviously just released. The f they re they own the rights to the movie, but they don't own the rights to the the IP. I don't think so. The special features on here: we have ten minute film school shorts, short shorts, and ten minute cooking school chocolate chip volcano cookies. I could actually make uh, might, might be fun to actually make some of the recipes in these actually. So yeah, there's the disc. It's in an orange case. A lot of people like to hate on this movie, but I thought this was a lot of fun. This one's a lot of fun. And, um, great cast, and it's just, yeah. Helvetica, Helvetica. That's the best thing, and I wish that song was available on on Spotify, so. But then I also got the Blu-ray edition. Now, the Blu-ray initially would have been a Blu-ray DVD digital copy pack, I think, but, um, mine was late, must have been a later pressing. It was in an eco-friendly case. Again, I put it in a good case, but it was a, um... This was originally the um, the Blu-ray release or whatever. It had it had more special features than the DVD, better picture and sound as well. So obviously, so special features listed the Blu-ray. We have um, the um, the Magic of Shorts and Short Show and Tell. Plus, those exclusive features via BD Live, but that of course requires an internet connection, and that those those features are probably gone now. So there's the disc. So. 
yeah, so I hope you enjoyed my Spy Kids collection featuring Shorts and Sharkboy and Lava Girl as well, so. This is Pixar Man 1001 signing out. Peace.